Ja. Warte, nimm das auf. Ja. Oh, my friends don't care about everything as long as you got a story to bring. This summer I took a trip to Turkey, Istanbul with my boyfriend. But while I was there I actually got injured on my leg. So this vlog is kind of all over the place and I realized that I don't have any talking footages of myself. But I still hope that you will enjoy the visuals of this video. The first hotel that we stayed in was in the Fatih area. While being a touristic area, Fatih is still quite quiet compared to the rest of Istanbul, I would say. There are two main mosques there, which are the Sultan Ahmed Mosque and the Hagia Sophia Mosque, which was, by the way, very recently made back to a mosque again after being a museum for a long while. So if you are going to Istanbul anytime soon and you want to stay at a quiet but yet touristic place that is not very far away from the rest of the things, I really recommend staying in Fatih. There are a lot of restaurants in the evening and it is overall a very familiar and peaceful atmosphere. Welcome to Musa Chashisa. The main reason why this bazaar was established is to sell spices, but nowadays you can find almost anything and everything there and you can take a look into the real bazaar experience. Also, in contrast to the grand bazaar, people will not come up to you and try to talk to you as much as they do um, on the grand bazaar. Musli Chashisa is located in Eminönü, which is directly near to the sea, which means you can uh, take a boat and go to some different places. Maybe you can go to the Asia side, which is what we did. on the Asian side of Istanbul. On the contrary to everything we have seen on the Europe side, the Asian side in Kadıköy is more modern. There are more young people in general, more young and small businesses. In my opinion, Kadıköy shows an overview of how the youth in Istanbul actually is right now. So let's take a quick breather and look at all the food options that we have in Istanbul because there are surely a lot. If you're someone who is into fine dining at all, I will say that Istanbul is one of the best places where you can get the best food for the cheapest price. This is one of the fine dining places that we went to, which was really, really good. But even the food in very small local businesses and restaurants is so good. And what I like about Turkey is that the portions are not that big, like they're easily manageable for one person. And contrary to how it is in Germany. So even though I ate a lot of good food in Turkey, I didn't gain any weight. Okay. okay. Hi, from the Galata Tower. The Galata Tower is located in the Beyol area of Istanbul, which is on the Europe side. And I actually spent lots of time here because as I told you, I got badly injured on my leg and the hospital which I was staying in was in Beyoğlu, very close to the Galata Tower. In fact, it was only like 5 minutes by foot. If you happen to be in the Galata area, I can really recommend you to go down to Karakoy because the coast where Karakoy is is so nice, especially in the evenings, there are a lot of people selling like tea and coffee. You can just sit there on a very small stool, wondering whether or not you should jump into the ocean, um, which you should obviously not do. But there is a saying about the Galata Tower and lovers, which basically states that a couple that manages to go up the Galata Tower together will stay forever for all of their lives so my boyfriend and I took the road up there and we were expecting that we have to go up a lot of stairs but instead we just found an elevator that brought us all the way up which was a little bit disappointing but on the way down actually you have to take the stairs I mean you could take the elevator but we chose to take the stairs 
just to have a little bit of that experience and um, if you are a tall person please be careful when you go down the stairs in the Galata Tower because my boyfriend is not the tallest person by any means but he managed to bump his head on the wall while he was going down It's been months since I've been knocking on What makes me so forgettable I'm struggling to comprehend What's taking up my peace I can't stand what's on the radio I'd rather play Chicago While I'm driving to the neighborhood Speeding till I pop the roof off Ha <laughs> ha